As a man, when you wake up in the morning, pray against it that no, don't let me be saved today. Don't let me do this today. Don't let evil borrow me to do this today. If I'm not for me, a demand me, if I'm allowed to go there, a D. Allow go, J. I'm a J. J. Ruff and not she. It is part of it in life. That is the truth. But that is says in law is not in law. Now you sabio. It is. Because, and again, the one thing I'm on, if something wants to happen, we wouldn't know the person they are sweat for. Whether yeah. it is the woman or the husband yeah. or the, the police, something is wrong somewhere. Because yeah. it is not common for RSP to fire. It's always like being at the rack and fire. Inspector, sergeant, corporal, they are the ones you always. Uh, but one thing people should understand is we are in Yoruba land here now. Hmm? I'm sure many Agbalagbas elders will know what they call a fun, a D, a Shasi, a Ransi, a Bilo. It is not long. Whatever that is, con whatever that happens in the physical realm is controlled in the spiritual realm. That's the, the spiritual aspect of it. That's what must have led to the fact. The man was never a drunk. He's just a news. In fact, I was told he's a very nice man. I know him. He's one, he's not nice. He's a guy under me as Piaro Lagos. I was also one Lagos, so I know Ajay very well. The guy has been a very good man. Forget about the story that he was one time in uh, Nigeria. He was this. He was never in Nigeria State Command. I debunked that one on the platform yesterday. Uh, is that many people tell you he's a very young, very nice, very nice guy. I think he's from Plateau, Plateau States. Yeah, when I heard Plateau, I said, yeah, you know, generally believe is that people from Plateau, they drink, they do. No. I said, the man did not. Even the sister of the deceased, who was in the car with them, said, no, the man did not drink. You know, like, oh, we have done tests. No sign of drunkenness, nothing. So what could have warranted him to cock his rifle and shoot directly and the thing is wrong. It's not in the law. The lawyer will tell you it's not yeah. it's not but oh wow. As a man, when you wake up in the morning, pray against it that no, don't let me be saved today. Don't let me do this huh. today. Don't let evil borrow me to do this today. If I'm not for me, a demand me, if I'm allowed to go there a D. Allow go J. I'm a J J Ruff and not she. It is part of it in life. That is the truth. But that you say in law is not in law. Now you sabi it is. Because and again, the, the one thing I'm on, if something wants to happen, we wouldn't know the person they are sweat for. Whether yeah. it is the woman or the husband yeah. or the, the police, something is wrong somewhere. Because yeah. it is not common for RSP to fire. It's always like being at the rack and fire. Inspector, sergeant, corporal, they are the ones you always see. The first case before this one, it was inspector downward. The ASP would not in any way even come down. Most of the time, you see that they always sit in the car. You go to go and meet them. To consult. And say, oh, guys, see my body, no, no, they don't do this. So, you really want to even set you. Yeah. But in a very long time in the history, now that's spent almost two decades in this job, it's very rare to see a policeman, an ASP, who has yeah. put in 33 years to be the one to pull the trigger, something. But however, he's going to carry his cross. The mm -hmm. governor came. The Lagos State government has taken over the prosecution. The police is not prosecuting. So let the Nigerians air now. The police is not prosecuting. It's Lagos State government that will prosecute. We are giving them the interim report. The case file has been handed over to them. The every other thing will be done under postmortem, ballistic analysis of the gun and what have we But we know that Vandy was the one who put the trigger based on a preliminary investigation because he gave him 20 something. Today we want to discuss issue of anger, violence, fights, attacks and the likes. Many of us don't know what the law is saying about some of these things I've just mentioned. You, when you go out, you meet someone, either you slap, that's a case of assault. And in most cases, when you slap someone and the person slumps and dies, it is not a case of assault again. It's a murder case. It is presumed that you have killed someone. Before you'll be able to clarify this, or to exonerate yourself, it's going to take some time because a, a murder case uh, it's not a just mere offense in law. It's not. It's a, it's, it's a felony in law, which means, and it's a capital offense. Can we actually work on anger, temperament, the way we respond to issues? Many of us, when we experience anything, immediately we throw caution into the wind, and we start fighting, public fighting, fighting one another. Else of these things we do. Consciously or unconsciously, are criminal offenses in the law. When two people fight in the public, it's an offense. We call it affray. When you slap someone, even if the person does not respond, you slapping, you have committed an offense, a case of assault. Then we have categories of assault. When you cause bodily harm to someone, injury to someone, 
it's another offense entirely. That one goes beyond the issue of assault. We have assault occasionally. Now. Then the degree of this injury determines the nature of the offense again. We have grievous harm. When you cause bodily harm or grievous harm to someone, it has higher punishment than assault or assault occasionally. Now. All these things go like that. Then if you beat someone in a fight and you cause injury to someone, do you know that if that person dies within a year and a day, the law still presumes you are the one that killed the person. That the injury you have caused to this person is still the cause of the death, except otherwise stated by experts, either autopsy or something else. That is why it's dangerous. A year and a day. That you fought maybe in your locality, in your village, in the cast room, a market square, shopping mall, anywhere. You fight someone, you caused bodily injury to the person. Within a year and a day, if that person dies, the law still presumes. It's a presumption in law. And in most cases, it stands, except otherwise um, explained. Or expert opinions come around to say, no, it is not so. It is this and that. It is presumed that within that period, the bodily injury of course to this person is still the cause of the death. I think we need to avoid having uh, contact with people, physical assault, attacks, and the likes. We can easily express our anger by mere talking. And when you even talk and expressing your anger, you don't need to shout. You can as well pass out that message without raising your voice. Raising your voice again can trigger your BP. Then you slow up, you die. You say it's the devil. No. You need to take things easy, particularly in Nigeria now. At every slightest provocation in Nigeria, we attack, we slap, we beat, we kill, we injure. This is not fear in any way. It is not good. It is not part of our culture. It is strange to us. And we need to retrace our steps to go back to our culture of managing one another, tolerating one another. Assess the situation before you react. Spontaneous reaction negatively may cause damage, may cause destruction and what have you. The criminal law section 315 has explained, described uh, murder and of course if you read this law it's going to tell you too many things about it. Whether you facilitate, you encourage somebody to kill parties to offenses, section 7 of the criminal law again is saying so far you, you are involved in anything, you are involved in any criminal offense, you are going to be held responsible as well. You can easily have argument without having physical combat, slapping, beating, pushing, this might lead someone to jail. We don't want you to be in jail. Our beautiful cells are not for you, but they are for criminals. And I know you, looking at me, you are not a criminal. For you not to be a criminal, avoid crisis, avoid fighting, avoid things that will lead you into problem or to be caught in the way of the law.